All right, what a treat. Hanging out in the United Supermarkets Arena, have the court jesters with us. This is, this is Nathan, we're gonna call him Nathan One. We got Abby, Nathan Two, Eric, and the one and only Brett. Did you go guns up or deuces? Guns up. Okay, good. All right, we got guns up going. So this is such an, an awesome, important crew. Probably my favorite, most energetic part of games. Why? Because you're here every game we have here. And whether the students are here or not, we just usually have such great energy from you. I'm so thankful. Let's talk about a couple of things. Start out, give me, um, we'll start with you, Nathan, too. Tell us about what you used to wear, the court gestures, at being a basketball basketball court band. Mm -hmm. Tell me what we got going yeah. on. What did you used to wear? Well, um, when court gestures first started back in around the 60s, um, our director, Dean Killian, started our ensemble. Um, we, we've been through multiple different uniforms. Um, we've had uh, a uniform where it was a suit and tie which is very interesting. Okay. It looked very similar to the Stanford band, what they wear now. The, well, basketball coaches used to wear suit and ties. We did away with it. <laughs> yeah. 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 We did away with it, too. That was actually <laughs> okay. um, We also, we had a, kind of a tracksuit um, uniform that was really cool. Uh, a lot of people kind of want to bring that back, so. Okay. We'll, I'll we'll see what see I can do with that. that. <laughs> Maybe I can fund that. Uh, I'm listening to you. Yeah. Um, but uh, nowadays, uh, we have our polos that have the Court Jesters logo on it. Cool. We also have a hat that goes along with it. Um, we're not required to wear that anymore, but um, our uniform now is blue jeans and our, our nice little polo okay. here, and that's what you're going to see us wearing uh, every game. I'm, I'm a mm -hmm. little disappointed we don't have the hat out here today, though. i got to be honest. Maybe, maybe we can get that a part of segment two. But we got a there cowboy hat here, we do which, which is pretty cool. If we're the Red Raiders, then we're Abby, you're, you're, you're yeah. in. We're, yes. we're going with the right. And I like your belt buckle, too. It's a good start. That's a, that's, we should maybe make that a part of the uniform. I think, that'd I think that'd be really I think we'd have a riot from half the band, but I think that'd be great. <laughs> Probably so. And then all of you have had different experiences as a part um, of the court gestures. Maybe tell the people, each one of you, one of your favorite memories as a part of, uh, as a part of this. Anybody, we'll start with you, Nathan. Oh, cool. Well, let's uh, save you for last. This will oh, be more fun. Yeah, you're Somebody right. Somebody else start. Favorite favorite experience, memory, being a part of this so far. Brett, he's the youngest. Brett. Yeah. All right. Um, so, like, obviously, I'm the youngest here. Um, I don't have as much experience in the core gestures as these guys over here. But, like, I've gotten to grow, I've grown up. I've watched. I've gotten to see them freak out over dunks and three-pointers made in, in the USA on TV. That's really cool. So when I first got here last year, we had a home game against Texas. I got to see, <laughs> I got to see uh, us chase after a loose ball and see all the Texas fans in the very in the corner of the USA start to freak out, and then Kevin O'Banner grabbed it, just chucked it up, and switched it perfectly. <laughs> and see, and seeing all of them like get down, all, all disappointed at the same time, is really funny. And it's it was so great because, and I, my mom went here. Uh, nice. She's she's um, she, she's been around the rivalry between UT and, and Texas Tech her whole life. She's passed it on to me, so seeing us get to beat them in my first time here, I'm not just in basketball, but in football as well, was really good for me. Nice, good start, man. Mm, good start. Plus, y'all got great seats. Oh, you know, they're, they're pretty good. You know, they're pretty I good. I think they're the best seats in the house. <laughs> that's, that's, that's good. All right, Eric, what you got? So it's not like specific memory, but I'd say like probably the most important thing about CJ's for me is like this is what really got me into basketball. I came out of high school not being someone who watched sports at all, and I just joined in because I wanted to be in the band and play more music, and through all the games that I've been to here, I have grown to really like watching basketball. And so now awesome. it's just a great, you know, just free ticket to come to every game you want to pretty much. And you get to sit in the corner, be part of the game, get great seats, like Brett said. It's just a great time. And you know what? You do help us win. That's what I like about the court <laughs> gestures. CJs. I got a new nickname. All right, good. I love that. Great. Um, I think my favorite memory is definitely the, the UT game. The... Um, Coach, uh, Coach Beard, his first game back. Yeah, that. Oh, that game was insane. The energy in the in the house and the energy that they bring every single night, it it's infectious, and we just get to add to that. And um, the way that we got to add to that uh, against Texas, oh, there was no game like it, and it was amazing. That, that was a true story. 
at the time I was the head coach at North Texas and the assistant and I associate head coach Ross Hodge and I'd been friends with Coach Beard, with Coach Adams. And when we found out it all transitioned, we actually made a call to Conference USA at the time, which was our conference, mm -hmm. to ask them if they would not schedule our game on that <laughs> night so we could, <laughs> we could fly to Lubbock and watch it. Trust me, that was everybody wanted to see that game. You got to see it live. I got to mm -hmm. see it live. That's, uh, I've heard this place was the loudest. It's ever been. I was at home watching. I could I could hear from my TV. I was back home in Dallas watching that. It was insane. Awesome. All right, Abby. I'm kind of following the same trend, but any of the Texas games. Uh, I've been going to basketball games here with my dad since I was probably four or five years old. Uh, so I, I've been to a lot of them. But the ones my freshman year when we played against Coach Beard's first time back as a, as the UT coach, I've, nothing tops that. Like I, that's about as good as it gets. And it was good because we, we won. Yeah, there we you won. Go. Right, good start. All right, Nathan won. What you got for us? Well, I've Best for last. What do you got? It's, it's pretty good. Uh, so I've been a part of Court Jesters since 2014. So this is my 10th year of doing it. In some fashion or another, uh, even in high school, I came and played with the alumni Court Jesters during the uh, Christmas breaks. Wow. So I've been doing this for a hot minute. And one of my favorite memories was back in 2019 whenever uh, the team made it to Minneapolis in the final national championship and traveling with the team through all the tournaments and NCAA play uh, was absolutely phenomenal. I made some tons of great memories, uh, got to hang out with all my best friends, uh, and so, so the, that's hands down favorite memory from court gestures. And you're, you got to be a part of like the whole journey and, and yes. see the team travel from each place and I know Two years ago, some of you mm -hmm. were a part of going to California when we were a part of the Sweet 16, that whole journey, which is remarkable. And I think that's what makes this fun. We're all on the same team. Mm -hmm. And I genuinely mean it. You all impact mm -hmm. winning. And you bring such great atmosphere to the, the USA. But also, when we do get to go play, there's nothing like the <laughs> agony of defeat of the pictures of the the. And you were you said it yourself, like maybe you didn't have such involvement until you got involved in the court gestures, but now you love basketball and it is a fun sport because you're so close to the action, but you all being so close mm -hmm. to the action and making an impact, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. And I mm -hmm. love your energy. And we got to Pagan. We yes. got to go hang out with them. And you all <laughs> and I got to hang out with you earlier in the year before football started mm -hmm. at your what was that? Uh, convocation. Convocation. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. I love your energy. I mean it. As a group. <laughs> You have, you have such a passion for this, and I'm so thankful for you. And let's finish by sharing what instruments you play, and not that that's, you know, yeah. your identity. You got a little of signature. Course. What's your signature? Tell us what instrument you play, and then tell us maybe something that you're looking forward to as a part of yeah. what's next. Yeah, so I play trumpet, uh, the second trumpet part, because nice. you got to hold down the low part. Uh, and so I'm really looking forward uh, to seeing uh, you out there coaching this season. And in particular, my mother texted me, and she is looking forward to Pop seeing Pop uh, run on the fast break. Nice. So I wanted. I like to, that. She needed to let me to let you know. For all the people out there, yes. we've been working on the fast break. So it's a very good. Start. Everybody wants to know that because we played slow in the previous where I used to coach. So we're gonna, we're working on the fast break. All Thank right, you. Tell your mom, we got good things coming. Will all right. Thanks. I, I wanna I wanna interrupt uh, for Nathan. Uh -huh. he, he not only plays the trumpet, he plays the pocket trumpet. Oh that yes. Game. Yes, I did not bring it this Aww. game. Oh, I should have. Dude, no hat, no gestures hat, and no pocket <laughs> No trumpet. pocket trumpet. This trumpets. is like turned into one of the greatest times to one of the most uh, like I know. wah wah. So we'll <laughs> do it again and you can show them that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I play the alto saxophone, uh, first part. Cool. Because I'm old and seniority. Uh, and oh gosh, I'm, I'm just looking forward to winning. I nice. That's winning. why I'm here too. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the same team. Watching the game, watching some good dunks. I'm ready to go dunks. All right, good. Uh, well, I play the trumpet as well. I also play second part. You gotta, you gotta hold down the low part. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm just excited to to get back in here and just to root on our uh, our basketball team because that's what. Uh, Jester's is about. That's what Going Band is about. The whole it's reason about, we're here. Yeah. yeah that's the only, just to root that's on the, the team. Support here. athletics. Just support y'all. So. Cool. Awesome. Man. Uh, I play mellophone, um, and I'm looking forward to some new music that we'll hopefully have going in the next couple of weeks. we got some brand new songs that we haven't played before. So, so. so no more Bruno Mars? 
<laughs> no more Bruno Mars. <laughs> right, this is inside jokes, but I'm with it. I'm with it. I like it. New music. I'm looking forward to new music. All right, that's good. Brett. Uh, I play mellophone, and while I, I'm excited to see like the our culture of like rugged defense to continue as well, but I'm also nice. excited for the women's basketball team as well. Me too. Now they have a really, really great roster this year, and I'm really excited to see what not not just them, y'all as well. I'm really excited to see what we do together as a, as an athletic complex in itself. Great, great point, man. The Lady Raiders are going to be great this year, and I love mm -hmm. Coach Kerlick, and I do know a lot of their roster. They are going to be great. I'm excited about that and looking forward to them. I got a chance to watch them practice a couple days and really excited about that season. It is the best part. The best part mm -hmm. of this is we all get to be on the same team. There's nothing like it. Nothing mm -hmm. like being a part of a team and being a part of the court gestures, being a part of Red Raider basketball makes us all Red Raiders. And we're all in here trying to make it as hard as the, on the visiting team as we can. Yes. And I'm pointing to them because there's some specific teams that we all like to beat. <laughs> and they'll be sitting right over there and we make it hard on them. So this group will be taking the USA to the highest decibels, really, in the entire mm -hmm. country and helping lead us to wins. And I'm so thankful for you. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And let's mm -hmm. do it again with the pocket trumpet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, wreck them. Wreck them. Yeah. <laughs>